Okay, I believe we are streaming. The tiger's face is going away. And away we go. Hold on. Is this really 720? Please. There we go. I put myself in 1080. That's how you do it. Now let's just make sure that nobody can hear me and I'm not reverbing. There we go. I think we took care of that too. We're off to a pretty good start. So uh, if anybody can hear me uh, and see me, let me know. That's the key thing. Uh, greeting fellow gamers, videos, sound are good to go. Looks up, nice to see you. Daniel, how are you? Larissa, how are you? All right, why did I start early? Number one, we've got a horrific storm on the way. Uh, so I didn't want to lose power in the middle of the storm, number one. Number two, um, when I write things down, guess what? We've got a lot to cover. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those streams. Uh, I haven't done a live vlog in about three weeks. Why? I have to cross off why. Hold on. Stay for it. Because uh, I was in Texas and St. Louis. And boy, you think I'd be tired. But uh, no, I'm exhausted, to be honest with you. Dennis, Jonathan, Clee, what's up? Steve, how are you? Sounds good. Something wrong with you. Oh, don't start, Steve. We're not in the wrestling thing. Daniel, Game Line, how are you? I did get this this hat at the airport uh, only because I cannot stand the Boston Bruins because I'm a Toronto Maple Leaf fan. They knocked us out. So I am pulling for, yeah, you got it, the Blues. And plus, you know, how many how many titles does the Bruins have? I mean, really. Steve, you know, a little mercy. It ain't going to hurt if you lose. Uh, game live, Steve. It's good to have Steve here. Steve and I have been having a ton of fun <laughs> with this wrestling angle. If you haven't checked it out, go to Monday Night Tights and check out the wrestling angle. As it's kind of working its way over into top pro wrestling. It's a story that's going to go. And, and I'm going to cover that because I have to delay uh, top pro wrestling because a couple personal issues and some continuity issues that are very important. That will all make sense when you guys see what's going on. Um, it's it's probably been the most fun I had. Uh, I turned out to be the evil voice uh, on, <laughs> on the thing. So if you get a chance, watch like the last uh, month or so. And when I come on, I think it's some of my best work of just being a total creep. So uh, we, we've had a really, really good time. And uh, what happens next? I guess you're just going to have to tune in and find out. Hmm. Uh, I hope Steve's still here. Um, let's see. Oh, so anyways, uh, first off, Texas was fantastic. I got to spend some time with the girls. Um, we uh, we got a lot of footage. A lot of it I just kind of got rid of because I just have so much. I have so many things to talk about, you know, and, and make videos about. It's really, really hard to decide i mean i'm i've shot video all the way out to the 20th and yet i got to go to origins next week and i got to keep you guys relevant so some of it's going to actually going to get pushed forward uh who's that there soul razor what's up we always say hi to everybody we always try to be kind to everybody except on monday nights <laughs> but um uh, Texas was was fantastic. I got to spend some time with Aldi. I got to uh, spend some time with Lincoln and stuff like that. We shot the one video. I thought that was enough. I shot another video, but the camera was really shaky. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get a little sensitive to doing good quality video. I'm trying to do a lot better uh, here. I'm here, multi-text. <laughs> yes, I'm listening. Okay, got you, brother. I, I didn't want to run you off. Um... So Texas was was great. Um, uh, you, you know, the the one thing about the spring, it's a lot different than the fall, and it's it's really amazing to see the difference. But just wonderful people. Godzilla lover, what's up? 
uh, really wonderful. Then from there, I had a couple days because uh, I came home uh, Sunday night and then uh, relaxed, tried to spend some time with the queen, and then uh, we were off and running. And we were out to um, St. Louis on that Friday, uh, which was pretty amazing to, to begin with. Um, and, and believe me, even though I started this early, we'll do the giveaway at the end. So we'll give uh, everybody a chance to get in here because we are going to be giving away some stuff because that's what we do. Hey, Chad, how are you? It's going to be good. I saw Chad and his wife who... Who uh, it was just a pleasure to see them. Uh, there's some things that tie into that you're going to see a bunch of video from BGG uh, over the next week or so, where Tina, myself, uh, and and Helen uh, played a bunch of different games. We taped them, and they were a lot of fun. So we wanted to share that with you guys. So we I took a different approach to it. Um, so that was fun. Then going out to St. Louis, we, we, you've got a video I think you're going to see tomorrow that I actually take by myself inside the warehouse and kind of show you some really cool stuff. And uh, Saturday, I believe that you're going to see a video of all the stuff that I sent home. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, okay, that's a long story. Wait till you see it. But one thing particular I really want you to see because... Um, First of all, I, I, again, I have to thank Miniature Market for being so kind. Uh, they did such a wonderful job uh, taking care of the girls out there. Uh, and even uh, uh, Kevin, Kevin Wack came down and helped with the thing. And Stephen was so nice, he gave them $250 each uh, to do whatever they want in Miniature Market. And Tina, who was helping me film on Friday the commercial uh, that we did for the big sale, which I thought came out really good, um, Except I sound like an appliance salesman. And you can get these two washers and dryer for five ninety nine. What a deal! You know, that kind of thing. Uh, I was just watching the Batmobile vid at Rob. Good stuff as usual. Tempted to go after the game for myself. Very good game. I'm going to learn it at Dice Tower Con because I'm going to be spending some time with some very close friends. Uh, Richard Launius, uh, which I want to spend some time with. And my good friend Pete. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll see Pete next week, but we're, we're going to actually play Batman and we're going to tape it live at Dice Tower. So we're going to do some interesting things to get you guys more involved. Um, so, so Friday, you know, uh, of course, Stephen being the benefactor that he is and as kind as he is, he goes, well, just go get whatever you want, Tina. And Tina lost her mind. I had to grab her by the back belt loop and drag her out of there like this. Tina, that's enough. Tina, that's enough. You know, and you couldn't stop her. She was on fire. Now, I ordered a whole bunch of stuff, but, you know, he, he took good care of her because she doesn't get out that way very much. Uh, that sale was awesome. Well, thank you, Soul Razor. We got a lot of heat on, on uh, Board Game Geek. You know, they don't, they don't watch the channel, so it's kind of funny. They don't know that I, I don't hear. You know, I don't, I don't hear very well, and it's hard for me to hear myself say words. So I, 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 I butcher titles like, no, why do I even have a channel? And this is one of the reasons why I said we're going to take it year by year. If it gets too bad, the channel shuts down, and that's the end of uh, Rob's tabletop world. And, and it had a great run, but if, if, you know, if I'm going to get killed on it all the time and I'm going to be butchering things and, and the quality of the video is going to go down and I feel that I cannot communicate well or see or paint very well, then, I, I you know, it's time to give it up. We're going to do the best we can. Rob, you planning on looking at the new contrast paint from GW? At some point, I will. Uh, I'll be doing a video on it as soon as it comes out. Uh, you know, I'll get my hands on it. That's for sure. Uh, see, I knew this was going to run long. That's why, I mean, what are we in? We're in 10 minutes already. I, I, I've got 14 things I have to talk about, and we've barely even finished one. So, uh, you know, being there, that was great. He took all the girls out to dinner. Uh, wanted to take the girls out to dinner Saturday night, but they wanted to stay and play games with Kevin after the, the seven-hour paint marathon, which, which was fantastic. If you saw the paint video... We put a lot of work into it. I think there's a lot of things that we could have done a lot better. 
Um, but, you know, we'll get there. Larissa, I, you know, you're one of the ones that I really wish was there, and I was thinking about you quite a bit. Uh, I missed it live. Was Seen Godzilla 2? Um, Seen Godzilla 2 is being saved because my family wanted to go with me together because they know how much it means to me, and they love watching me smile and be happy, and they know that they wanted to do it as a family. So we're going to go out to dinner tomorrow night, and... Um, we're going to see it as a family. So we're excited about that. So I stayed away from everything knowing about Godzilla. Uh, I've been away for the last two weekends. And this is the last weekend I'm going to be here. And I've got a lot to explain how things are going to go. Um, really, it, it's going to be something. But uh, I'm looking forward to going and seeing Godzilla and going out to dinner with my wife. We had... We've had no time to spend together over the last three weeks. And it's just going to get worse because I'm gone. I leave uh, Tuesday and I'm at Origins all the way till Sunday. And then the following week, which is one of the things that I'm going to mark off to tell you, is uh, my son Justin, who, as you know, has my granddaughter on the way with, uh, with uh, my very wonderful daughter-in-law-to-be, uh, Amanda. She is just a sweetheart, and um, uh, they live down the street. It's been great. We've been through so much making sure that we got their house and everything like that. If you have something to say, just make sure you put it uh, that, that, um, that you want me to answer. Make sure. I'll do the best to keep up with the comments that I can. Um, but today we're going to have a huge giveaway where? From Miniature Market, so you guys are going to want to stay tuned. So try to hang in there if you can. Um but when i come back that saturday uh they are planning a quick surprise wedding yeah uh, they want to be married before the baby comes and um you know they're not giving it getting married because of the baby they just want to be together and they're very happy they bought a house together um and we're really looking forward to emory coming which is, you know, a, a real big thing. So next Saturday, even, um, uh, you know, all that week, I'm sure we're going to be busy trying to get ready, ready for the wedding and everything else to go with it. So, and then after that, I've got one week and then it's Dice Tower. Then I got three weeks, then it's Gen Con. And then that's it till the, uh, till the fall, um, till BGG fall, uh, which I'm looking forward to because, we're we're really squeezing a lot of stuff and a lot of air miles in and uh you know it's not it for me i don't enjoy being away from my family or being away from you guys to be honest you know we're a very close-knit community and we like to do things live or i love putting up videos and communicating the things i see but you know i go out there i try to get all the scoops i not scoops but as much get all new product in here so we can show it off all nice and shiny and talk about it and have fun with it together and uh just have a blast this you know we've i've really had fun and really had a blast with everything that we've been doing on the channel and i think it shows because we're all having a good time i think and we're going to continue that process and we're going to keep on going until physically i can't do this anymore and that's what i i really really hope i can I, I hope i can go another five years god willing but um i'll be honest with you guys i just don't know i don't know if 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 my hearing will hold all out my hands or my eyesight will hold out um you know uh i say a prayer every day that that i can so i can spend as much time with you as i can every day is a blessing and i, I try to tell you guys that and uh and I don't take it for granted every time I get to spend some time with you guys. So uh, at some point, I'm just not going to be able to. And that will be a very sad day. But just think of all the memories that we can create on the way. So that's all I have to say about that. Now, because of the wedding, because of Origins and some other things uh, going on, Top Pro Wrestling is a major show on here that we're having fun with and that we're doing. I, I want to do it on Saturday nights. But because of the way things are going, we have the wedding. I just found out about uh, the following Saturday. This Saturday, if I do it this Saturday, that means we're not going to be able to do it for three weekends. So I'm going to move it early Monday, I think. 
or I might just hold it off because there's a storyline that's developing that has to tie in. So Monday, instead of getting in Steve's way, which I, I have no, I, I won't do because of Monday Night Tights, because we kind of tie into each other a little bit, and you'll see, you'll see why and how and what and why. And if, if you saw this last episode on his channel, you'll see, and you'll see some of the ramifications of how things go on mine. So I'm going to try to run it at 4 o'clock. Even though i got to pack and do about a billion things beforehand, we're going to run it for an hour on Monday. That way it stays fresh. So when I, I'm going to miss that Saturday, and then when I come back, I'm going to run it again that Monday. We're not going to do it on that following Saturday, but we will be on the following Saturday after that. So um, we're going to, we're, I'm going to try to get it where it's only spaced maybe eight days apart because there's a storyline, not just with Steve, but there's a storyline that's just about to unfold, which is major that you're going to want to follow along. And I don't want to lose the momentum of the story. You'll see when it happens. And it has to do with Scary Mary. And wait till you see what I cooked up. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to be a little disturbing. Uh, I have one coming soon, too. Oh, that's very cool. I'm glad to hear that. And, and like I said, uh, you know, it's, it's a blessing. You know, uh, another reason that we are Kabuki. There's a the person I miss. How are you, Kabuki? I haven't seen you in a while, and I hope you're doing well. Um, but... You know, one of the amazing things that, you know, the way it looks on camera, Steve and I really like each other. And, and we're going to have Steve on the show uh, very soon. And we're, I really want to interview him and introduce him to this massive community that we have and see what a great guy he is. Um, but um, one of the things that we have in common is my daughter-in-law has cystic fibrosis, which, you know, honestly, you're on a timer in life because your lungs... Um, have a lot of problems and we didn't learn about this and and we've been learning more and more about this and and Steve and I are going to work together and try to raise some money for cystic fibrosis because Steve's daughter also suffers from this horrible disease and um, you know I, I'm going to make it my mission to do the best I can to support Steve's wonderful daughter and uh, Steve as a person who is a wonderful kind family man and I'm very proud to call my friend um godzilla lover asked a question a little bit up okay just saw the new godzilla she said oh rob will you still be at gen con on sunday um that might be the day we are attending uh i think i fly out early sunday no i didn't even make my my plane flight uh i believe i'll be there how long i don't know if you're going to catch me, I'll make sure that, that I, I try to book the fight where you catch me early. Uh, Kabuki, I hope you didn't hate it. Hold on, I'm going to go up. Kabuki just saw the new Godzilla. Oh, well, let's find out if Kabuki liked it. I thought it was fun. Oh, shoo, if Kabuki likes it. They're still doing good guy Godzilla. Eh, for a little while. Until... Until he beats the crap out of King Kong, who's just a punk, anyways. All right, so we covered that. We talked about the, you know, some of the shift for another couple of weeks. But once we get out of this window, Top Pro Wrestling is going to be every Saturday, and I'm waiting for the Saturday because we built a whole new set for it, and I think you guys are going to get a real laugh out of this because it is going to be a little ridiculous. So we got that Top Pro Wrestling. We got Justin's wedding out of the way we've got we talked about our trip to st louis we didn't finish talking about st louis st louis was a, uh, a lot of fun and we talked about origins about me going to origins so if you wanted to come see me at origins hey you can uh kong's going down you betcha you betcha i can't stand king kong that overgrown gorilla um heck a lot of people call me an overgrown gorilla uh, but um, one of the things I did do in St. Louis is I got to go to the Stanley Cup. Stephen was so nice. He, the girls didn't want to go. Um, they wanted to play uh, games. So Stephen looks at me and he goes, you want to go to the Stanley Cup? I went, yeah, sure. So we ended up getting tickets. Um, center ice, first row on the boards. 
And it was amazing. Even though the Bruins killed them. And the Bruins are just huge and fast. Uh, I mean, I, I just didn't think that St. Louis would win another game. That's how good they looked. And it was amazing, though. Just watch the athleticism involved. It was really exciting. Uh, I know it's Kickstarter. So I am so excited that Too Many Bones is finally going a single storage solution. Yes. Too Many Bones is amazing. I was driven to watch the original, so watched Gorzilla the other night. I got home from the movie... LOL, such a good movie. The first one for me is just special, but I will not watch the American version of it. I will only watch the Japanese version of it. I have both, but the original one was so good. Um, you know, 1954, that was just fantastic. Need a hockey miniatures game like Blood Bowl? Uh, well, Game Chief News, uh, matter of fact, uh, it funded... Uh, and that is Trick Shot, which is coming out from some good friends. You're going to want to check that out. Uh, okay, let's go to the list, all right? Because we're already 22 minutes in, and I've covered three things. I'm awesome. Patrons. For those of you that are patrons, uh, I have a bunch of boxes. I have eight boxes. They are not going to go out until I'm back from uh, Origins. Um, I finished up a bunch of things. It's been in and out. I, matter of fact, I promised I was going to send some things before I was going to leave, and I just did not get to it. I don't have time. And when I get home, the the mail's already uh, uh, closed. So I promise I will make sure that I get it out. As a matter of fact, one of them, the guy can drive and pick up for crying out loud. Uh, 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 Mansions of Madness. But I will get that out. Um as soon as I get back. So please bear with me. I've been painting my butt off in the time that I am. It's like you come home, you paint, you film, go to bed. Paint, film, go to bed. Paint for the channel, paint for the patron. Film something, go to bed. But I'm enjoying myself. I really am because there's so many things I want to show you guys that you don't even know I have yet. Which, it just makes it fun. It's like, oh my god, I can't wait till they see this. I can't wait till they see this. I can't wait till they see this. I can't wait till we do this. I can't wait till, you know, this and that. You know, it makes having this channel so much fun. Okay. Morpho, how are you? Did I miss him? Mark, how are you? Uh, we said hey to Game Chief News. Uh, game line. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. Um... Boom, 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 boom. I've got all people. Uh, fellas, whatever areas. Okay, whatever. Uh, Sunday. Oh, there's going to be a change in warm pieces. Uh, I'm going to be moving it to Saturdays. Uh, the reason being, it, you'll see a video about, I actually film it in the warehouse. That I decided to move it to Saturdays because I've been getting killed over at BGG for releasing a video, you know, putting up a video that already is released on my channel. So if it gets, a, you know, 100 or so views here, you know, I figure with 81,000 people that there would be so many more people that want to see it. And that's true. It does happen that way. But there's a couple of people that see both of them and go, I already saw this. And... I just wanted to share some, and, and establish myself with the painting and the box opening for that. So now I'm going to coincide it that things will coincide on the same day. You can either watch it on my channel or you can watch it on BGG. And uh, so it's going to come out at the same time. It'll do better for them. It'll do better for me. And we'll just get the word out more quickly. Uh, Baron, how are you? Did you ever get that, that uh, Jurassic game? I think I texted you that. We got promised that we were going to get a look at this Jurassic World game. So I'm going to pull the curtain back. So for months I've been... Pro uh, someone saying, yeah, we want you to take a look at it. We want you to take a look at it. So what do they do? They send it to this channel that uh, basically uh, buys subscriptions, okay? Has no views. Buys subscriptions. And they lose <laughs> subscriptions every day, as you can tell. How do you get, you know, over a certain number with, with, with an eighth of the views that you get. doesn't make sense. 
So at that point, I just told the guy, you know what? Don't need it. Don't have to do it. It would have been cool to paint dinosaurs for you guys, you know, but the heck with that. I've been, I'm tired of being lied to. Uh, Tim Roo. Doing good. Nope, no game yet. And they also promised Barrett, so whatever. We're not going to worry about it. Um, let's see here. Origins. Origins. Be sure to check me out on BGG. Let's cross this one out. Because I am going to be doing some of the interviews there. And you know me. I'm going to spice it up a little bit. It's not going to be, you know, your usual review. I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to enjoy what I'm seeing. And I'm going to enjoy being on camera. And I'm going to talk to you guys. Because I know you guys will be watching. You want to see all the cool stuff at Origins? Well, check out what Rodney does. Check out what Chaz does. Check out what Aldi and and all the wonderful people. Uh, there's there's so many people. Beth and all them and Eric. All the interviews that they're going to be doing, and I got and I'm in there too. Let's hope I do a good job and don't make a mockery of it and make them want to hang me. Uh, I opened on BGG, thumbed, thumbed it up, open it on YouTube, thumb it up, and watch it there. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, he still has hope. Look at him. That's that's why he's a great guy. He's so good, he couldn't be mad at anybody. That's why I, I like you, Barrett. Um, Sunday. Now, I'm hoping a bunch of stuff comes. Because I ha I'm going to try to fit in uh, a live gaming video, two of them, over the next... Th I'm going to try to do three over the next four days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, four. One's wrestling. One is going to be a really cool game. And another's going to be a real cool game. I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Because it ties in with a box opening that hopefully I'm going to be doing for Saturday. If not, you're going to... You're just going to see the games, or, or I won't be able to do the games. But um, I'm really looking forward to doing these. So that takes care of that. I will tell you this. It does have something to do with Dawn of the Zed 3rd Edition that we will be doing live. That's fun. Are you having a meetup at Origins? It would be fun to get the gang. No, I, I don't do that. So I, you know, I'll be honest with you. I really feel uncomfortable. Um... You know, going, hey, this is my channel, and everybody meet up from it. Uh, it's just not me. You know, if you see me, I'll spend time with you, and I'll thank you profusely for watching the channel. And anything, you know, I'll probably know you or something like that. I just don't like being the center of attention, which makes no sense because I'm the center of attention behind behind this camper camera. But the thing is, I'm talking to a camera. I'm talking to this me uh, mechanical device. Um, I just, it's not that I feel, I, I, I just don't feel I deserve any praise. I don't feel I do a good enough job. That's why I always push so hard. It, it's a weird thing that goes up and, you know, with the squirrel, the nuts, and the gears. Uh, you know, you get them all moving together and you, it, it doesn't make sense. You know, you never feel you're good enough or you feel, you know, you feel, uh, you know, I, I, I always try to pull back the curtain. I always feel out of place trying to um uh, it, it, somebody comes up and it, it, it moves me when somebody tells me how much i move them or their family to paint or they watch together and they they really just enjoy what i do and it, and, and they tell me what an honor it is to meet me that touches me deeply i I don't think I could be in front of a group and just, like, how can I say that, right? I just did this paint video. But at the end, when they all clapped, I just felt, I don't think I did a good enough job. You know, I never feel I do a good enough job. And I'm really hard on myself. And I think you know what I'm trying to say. I, I think for me to go, hey, I'm going to have a meetup with everybody from my channel, I, I, I almost consider that kind of me being egotistical. Now, if you all met met to meet each other, that's a great thing. But me holding it and going, well, here I am. You know, I, it's just not me. If not, I think you, if you understand what I'm saying. Uh, should we change the name to Rob Khan or Community Khan? I don't know. I just like to say and give 
a Godzilla-related gift I have for you. I'll be uncomfortable with a big meetup at a con. LOL. <laughs> All right, Godzilla, I promise you that I will make sure that I find time for you. And uh, I will actually make sure I take a later flight just to meet up with you. How's that sound? All right. Uh, yeah, keep it community con. There you go. Uh, we are, we like your channel because you are humble and knowledgeable. Thank you so much. That, 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 again, you know, hearing those things means the world to me. Zelnar, how are you, my brother? You are the best. You all are the best. And like I said, it's like talking to my friends. I'm going to sneeze, which is... Hold on. Can I hold it? Tiger, can I hold it? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay, we got that out of the way. Always live, right? Okay. All right. We are going to play the giveaway game very shortly. Stick with us. We're giving away ton of stuff there's only 30 of you so guess what somebody you, you we're going to give away four things they're mystery things they're mystery gift certificates one could be worth a lot of money one could be worth some money and some money and a mediocre amount of money but how much that's going to be a mystery because you're going to open up your thing when you get it next week when i get back okay but just know that you're a winner and just make sure you send me your email at NovaPrime860 at Hotmail.com. Okay, so we talked about the, the giveaway game today. So you're going to want to be here. Not only that, okay, uh, we're going to try to film that unboxing. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to review Dawn of the Zed. Might as well just tell you, okay. We've got the new Pathfinder game in. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to trying to do that live. Uh, we're going to do Dawn of the Zed, the third edition, live. A lot of fun over this weekend, if I can squeeze it in. So we covered those. All right, this list is getting down. Uh, something, okay. You're going to see a video. Uh, hopefully, those boxes come here. But I have four huge, gigantic boxes coming from BGG Con. Okay. Um, Aldi and I went up and all the games that were laid out for the storage solution, they, were, they just laid them all out. There were some games that were more valuable than what they wanted to sell for. So Aldi came up with an idea. Why don't we take these boxes and make four giant mystery boxes? Now, I am going to take one game out of each one of those boxes and lay it on top of the boxes when those boxes come. Uh, they should be here tomorrow. I'm praying to God that they're here tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to film those boxes. And I'm going to film some footage of the whole room before anybody went in there. Because Aldi and I went in there. Aldi made two giant boxes. I made two giant boxes. We are going to auction those off for Make-A-Wish. Okay? You're going to have a chance to, to bid on them. They're going to be one to four. But check the games that are going to be laying on top. Aldi picked out a bunch of big pile of games. And I picked out, I go, wow, how could this be in here? This is like a $70 game. Hey, this is a $70 game. And I said, can, can I put it in the piles? And we made these two huge boxes. Really cool. And there's, I'm going to throw some extra stuff in there if I can fit it in, in the boxes. And we are going to have an auction. And it's going to run the entire week that I am gone at, at uh, Origins. And it'll stop the day I, I, that Monday I come back. And then the winners, well, you know how it happens. I send it right out to you. Uh, hi, James. How are you? Another person I'm so happy I took care of is Dutch Yoda. Dutch Yoda has been waiting for something for quite some time. So while I was at a miniature market, uh, I sent him a copy of Gloomhaven. And you'll see why. It's kind of funny. Um, when you see the video and you see how many gloom havens they had, um, I said, well, let me make a little room here. And I sent one out to the Netherlands. I wonder how much that cost, but Stephen took care of it. I want to thank him so much for that. Um, it was kind of a, um, a patron thing and a uh, just something I, I did special. And if so, you know, somebody's a patron that wanted a gloom haven, we could take care of it instead of something painted. We can figure something out, especially if you you know you had something that you wanted to get done. 
Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. And Larissa wins a big hug from Rob, which I will always give um, La uh, Larissa. I owe her like three. And then I owe her a, a shopping spree. So I'll talk to Steven about that one. Um, so that takes care of that. I've been painting. I, I've actually had enough guts, or not guts, I don't feel physically sick, that I've started uh, finishing up some Blood Rage and Rum and Bones uh, um, uh, patron stuff. So for those of you that have been waiting for that, and I physically told you that I am physically sick, I cannot do it. I've started being able to do it. I'm just taking things a little bit slower, and I'm able to do it and enjoy it. Uh, let's see, Casey. Casey, as a matter of fact, uh, we talked earlier about uh, all the patron stuff. I have nine boxes over there. Casey, one of yours is there. When I get back from Origins, all those boxes will go, and you'll get your patron stuff. So, Casey, glad to see you there. Uh, got to run. He's got the kids home. All right, Barrett. Barrett, Barrett we'll see you soon. Uh, and you and I got to do a couple of games together at some point. Monkey Raff, how are you? Hello from France. Well, we all love everybody from France. Only three hugs? Well, I didn't say how long they were. Uh, love the M&M &M sale? Yeah, they're doing a fantastic job. Uh, how many minutes are we in? Wow, 37. I thought I thought this would go an hour and a half. Wow. Because usually I can I can talk a lot longer. We talked about the BG or the BGEG auction. When when you see that video, that's going to activate it. Uh, I filmed some great. I'm going to do a nice talk through of the whole room, so you can see all the games that were there. There were over four thousand games there, and we picked out four huge boxes, and uh, they brought it back to to the store and they shipped them out to me. So I should have them very soon. Uh, Take it easy, Rob. Your health is important. I'm doing all right. I feel pretty good. I, I'm up at the gym every morning. Um, it's things that I can't control. You know, my hearing, my sight, my hands. My hands. My, I have this thing in my family where our hands eventually do this. And I can feel it. And it's it's been hard to paint. I want to keep on doing it because I want to keep expressing myself. It's, it's, it's time. It's God's will. Whatever he decides. Now... One of the things I do want to talk about is uh, there is a Kickstarter that you guys need to go check out. Um, Dan Verzen uh, from DVG Games uh, for What Remains. Now, uh, I did a video for this. It'll go up on Sunday. Uh, but you guys want to check this out. It is really pretty neat. It is a post-apocalypse game, which you usually go, oh, post-apocalypse. No, no, this is cool. Wait till you see the art, which is a little different, and I like it. How the tiles go together so the game's never the same. The rubble that you're going to be putting down. And then, of course, uh, one of the really cool aspects of it that I really, really enjoy is, is, is the counters. They're really cool looking. And I, I, I just think that this is a game. It's it's at 17,000 change. They need 25 to fund this. I want it funded because I want a copy of it. I really do. So I'm hoping you guys will take a look at it. I'm usually not wrong about these things. Um, you know, when I pick out certain things, I'm usually pretty good with the Kickstarter stuff. And, and it's usually a good game. I can usually tell things. You know, sometimes I'm wrong. But most of the time I'm right, and I think this one's going to be really, really good. So check that out on Kickstarter. Dan Version, what for for what remains? I think you'll really enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Uh, see, I was just talking to. Ooh, I have that Kickstarter. I'm interested. Oh, I I saw that Kickstarter. I'm interested. There you go, Dutch. Dutch, we were just talking about you. I backed Shiver Me Timbers. That one is nearly a hundred bucks. So I'll have to be convinced to spend more this month. You don't have to scare. Uh, there's a nice little video on it. Go check it out, Kabuki. I, I, I think it's up your alley. I, I, there's a lot that comes in the box. And Dan, Dan does a nice job with games. And I don't think he gets the credit that he deserves. If you take a look at some of the, the games he's come out, you take a look at the passion that's put into that Warfighter Um uh, a Pat, uh, not Pat, uh, Rommel, which is another one that I really like. That Corsair fighter I did live was a lot of fun. I, I goofed a few things up, but I really enjoyed it. 
I've got a ton of Dan's games all over here. B-17 Flying Fortress. Uh, Cards of Cthulhu. Need I say more? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, there, there's the list. Oh, perfect. There you go. Kickstarter. Go check it out, folks. Have a sick pup so I can't do much. Oh, no. Still still not doing well? I hope this puppy gets better. Please. I, I don't want anything bad to ever happen to anybody. G-P-O-D-2. Leah Broussard. Okay. Hi, Leah. My seventh con con uh, continent Kickstarter came in. You know, I got to try to get that on the secondary market somehow. I really want that game. When did you start YouTube? Uh, about three and a half, four years ago. Somewhere in there. It's more three and a half. Yeah, I've been itching for a good pirate game. Yeah, see, I love pirate games. Blackbeard is a great game. And I look at it and I always say, you know, because like, I have it over there. I, I really need to get that, uh, you know, to the table there. Here, uh, 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 let's switch to the other camera. Because we can do that, because we're pro. We're pro strat here. You ready? Oh, the dice! Yes. And you can see up there. Yeah, see? Right where Pitch Car is in El Dorado. Blackbeard. Cool game. See see the new air conditioner I built in here? It is so cool. It's it's 96 degrees outside, but it is cool as a cool cucumber here. Now let's look around. What do we got here, Rob? Oh, Rob, what's up? What's up, dog? What's up? Look at the, <laughs> look at the mouth. The sea of games. Tiger sleeping. Shh. You guys do know that tigers sleep a good part of the day. Look at him. Boy, look, he's got his tongue. He, he sleeps with his tongue out. I mean, he really is something else, that dumb tiger. Don't wake him up. Look at all this stuff. I got, see, we can't even, we can't even get over there. Because there's so much stuff in here. Gee whizzes. She willikers. Whoop, there we go. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, there's my list. So, let's go back to the money shot. There we go. <laughs> I've discovered an old game today and ordered it. The Tiny Epic Quest. Have you played it? Yes, very good. I bet your house is nicer since someone left. Well, Brown Fang, boy, did you hit it on the money because you want to know something? I'm going to tell you a little story since, since we're burning time here. Okay. I love those metal shells. Sort of like a baker rack. rack. Exactly, because I'm always cooking something. Oh, did you see how I walked right into that? Um, since since he's left, and since Amanda's left, do you know the garbage has not overflowed once? I take it out every day. There's no poop in my yard from corgis. I pick it up every day from, from the shepherds. You want to know what else? When we take out the trash, there, instead of it being filled and praying that we can get enough of it out, well, guess what? There's like a, a, a an extra barrel. We can, I, I try to find things to throw in it just so I can put that second barrel out. And I'll tell you another thing. The refrigerator's empty. Okay, there's not much food in it. There's not stuff falling out of there. Leftover takeout boxes and stuff like that. Uh, the house has stayed clean. Okay, it's not musty or dusty. Um, I don't know. And me and the queen, we don't hold each other and cry anymore it's it's we're we've actually been able to sit down and talk is there something to it maybe let's see uh are you in in your basement no uh actually i redesigned the garage out here so um um what i did is i set up alarms and reinforced for steel uh, door that I put in and then we um, insulated everything and then we spent three grand and put that bad boy out there so uh, I mean up there so we can keep this nice and cool so it stays nice all year round and I like it cold 
Uh, Sid Meier is a personal hero of mine. I have to agree with you there because that pirate game was the greatest game ever. And if you don't think so, shame on you. Uh, I miss playing broadsides and boarding parties. Board game back in the day. I have that. I should do it. Tears of joy, Rob. Tears of joy. You betcha. All right. So um, why, don't, why don't we play a little bit here? Uh, Larissa, I'm going to leave it up to you to do the start and the um, uh, finish there because the computer's over on the other side there. I'm just going to keep talking. Uh, did I cover everything? Game giveaway. That's where we're at right now. We talked about Dan's game, so I can cross that out. Uh, you're going to see a video on that on Sunday. We've got all kinds of really fun live games that I think are going to be very peppy and very keep everybody involved. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and let's do a giveaway game and give away quite a bit of money uh, some gift certificates to yes our good friends at miniature market who have been so kind to us I still have my copy of broadsides and boarding Party. so uh, Larissa why don't you uh, get things going now when you see start now you pick a number 1 through 100 do not pick more than one number you will be disqualified the closest to it wins okay if there is a tie we will have a roll off of death uh, so 1 through 100 we're going to do and for those of you that did not make it in there oh somebody thumbed it down that's pretty cool we give away stuff and people thumb it down so hit that like button smash it because what they don't understand it doesn't matter if you thumb it down or, or thumb it up what happens is is that for every time you hit thumb, the best thing you can do is not thumb it at all because then it doesn't kick up. Even if you hate it, guess what? And Larissa, at your discretion, just make sure everybody gets in and you can make sure you play too. Oh, she did. So um, even if, if you don't thumb it, it stays low on the list. If it gets a bunch of thumbs ups and thumbs downs, it goes higher on the list and more views. So you're helping me. So however, thumb up, thumb down, I'm happy. Eminem with 86. Oh, I know who thumbed us down. I can see the, the moron now. Uh, Larissa, only one number each. Oh, look at her. Larissa, you got to stop thumbing me down. This has been, I'll, I'll tell you, this has been one of the most rewarding years for me. Um, the girls have been fantastic. Uh, they are the best. I, I, I don't think this channel would be half of it what it is if it wasn't for Tina, Helen, and Larissa. So I want to make sure that I got that out. Chad, I wish I had three thumbs to give you. Oh, that's fine, Chad. You're the best. Oh, she stopped now. Dutch Yoda just came up short. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Oh, poop, she says. Any thumb is still good for the numbers. Exactly. And that's that's exactly how I feel about it. Of course, we always hope that you thumb us up. Now stop. Dutch is good. Okay, there you go. She squeezed Dutch in there because we love Dutch. All right, so everybody got in there. All right, so... Without further ado, oh, oh, let me back this up a little bit. Let me back the truck up here. Hold on, hold on. Whoop, there we go. Just to make sure that we see the roll of dice. Okay, this is, uh, the blue will be tens and the red will be ones. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, who is going to win that first gift certificate? 63. 63 63 all right i'm gonna i'm gonna okay uh larissa's close is there a 63 65 mark livergood 59 uh 64 65 oh no he's just gonna miss it because it'd be 60 61 62 63 yep let's see if there's anybody closer i'm kind of looking around here 72 
Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. So who is it going to be? Thanks for those noises. Got to have the camera noise. Of course. Mark. Yeah, that's the way it looks. Mark, congratulations. If you email me at NovaPrime860 at Hotmail.com uh, next week when I get back, I will have a nice, fresh gift certificate for you Sunday night. So check your email Sunday night, Monday morning. And depending on what part of the country you are or what part of the world, because we are Rob's Tabletop World. World. Zilnar 61. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. We have a roll off of death. Dear goodness. Dear goodness. Who uh, who picked it first? Roll off. See, here I was going into this whole thing. Uh, Zilnar, Zilnar, Zilnar. Sorry, I missed that one. Mark Levergood. So it look. Oh, Zilnar went first. Zilnar, you are going to pick. Uh, let's see. You get the pick first. Yeah, we have a little bit of delay, but don't worry about it. Hey, that's all right. Zilnar will pick first. Yeah, I'm fine. I got it. See, you guys are putting comments. I already got it. <laughs> the comments go faster, but I see it. Yeah, here we go. Roll off. So Zilnar will pick uh, a number first, and then Mark will follow up with a number it's just a matter of what I'm going to roll. So we're going to leave it up to Zilnar first. Once we see his number go up, then Mark will pick right after. Just pick 50 so you can't get gamed. There you go. Yeah, but we had somebody pick 23 the other day. And guess what? I rolled, I rolled an 11. And they won. It was amazing. 54. He went 54. Mark went 32. Okay. All right. Here we go. Who will win? Who will win? Oh! It is the number two. It is the number two. Congratulations, Mark. You won again. It's like I knew. Oh, for crying out loud. Boy, I feel bad for Zelda. He, you know, he, he picked the perfect number, and I picked two. All right. So whenever you're ready, Larissa, let's do let's do another one. Why not? Let's do another one. Oh, wrong camera. Let's go to that camera. Boom. So uh, whenever you want to put start now two, that's fine. We'll give you guys, I know there's a little bit of a delay here, but we're not worried about it. I'm just going to keep on talking. Uh, and give it a good while, uh, Larissa, so that it comes through okay. Everybody's welcome to play. Make sure you email me at NovaPrime860 at Hotmail. Uh, my daughter picked a number. Look at you, and congratulations to your daughter on the victory. Mark, we will not give it to you, uh, but we will give it to your daughter. Um, yeah, so these dice are hot today. They're all over the place. Pick away, pick away, pick away. Casey, get, get your number inside there. All right. Zilnar with 65, still feeling it. Thought you would have got a 79 in there. I'm going to shake these really good. Atomic Scale Model Freak. He even got his number in. Look at that. Kabuki got her number in. Laura got... Look at that. Two 22s in a row. Are you kidding me? Oh, now I'm... Now I'm hoping. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. I think I forgot to put the battery in. Do, 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 do. Um, really? Hold on. Hold on. says no battery so where is the plug
There we go. Whew, that was close. I forgot to plug the battery in. I wonder why I couldn't see anything. I think I'm still alive. Okay, let's see. Silnar, hot dice. All right, let's see is... Okay. Yeah, so... Uh... <laughs> Boy, I'm the best, huh? But we're still alive. We're still streaming, I believe. I think we are. I hope we are. Stop now. There we go. Brown Fang TV picks two. Saeed. Oh, my God. Sorry. I hate when you forget to cha charge up. Well, you know, the funny thing is... Uh, I had it on, but the plug was loose. I didn't even realize it. But that's all right. It's charging now. Good. Okay, stop now for real. <laughs> we got Saeed in. Here we go. Make sure you get your number in in time. Okay, so here we go. Let's see who's going to do this. Who is going to be the victor? Oof. Boy, the thing go the thing thing started flashing going. The battery is low. I went, oh, God, right in the middle of the dice game. No. <coughs> All right. So let's go down to the table. Let's go. And here we go. We are going to roll those numbers. We are going to roll those bones. I'm going to shake these up real good. Larissa is the queen of perfect timing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you got to love her. You got to love her. Oh, I am rolling. I'm waiting for the thing to switch over on the other thing because I'm looking at my camera right now. I'm rolling these dice. I'm shaking them. And uh, here we go. Oh, it is going to be 16. 16. 16. 16 it will be. So, who got 16? Let's see. 11. 22 was close. 18. 18 with game line. Nice. Oh, it looks like we have a roll-off, possibly. Really? Do we have a roll-off? Okay, so we are going to have a roll-off. It looks like uh, Game Line. Game Line, you're going to pick the number first. All right, there are three 18s. Okay. Leland, Game Line, and who else? Who's the other 18? Uh, Tim, okay. So, uh, game line. And Tim, where? What place did you come in? Uh, let's see. Where did Tim come in? Did Tim get his number in first? No, oh, no, Tim. Okay, that's what it is. So, Tim, you're gonna pick first. Game line, you're gonna pick pick second, and then last will be Leland. Tim Root goes 51. Ooh. Yep, I got it. Ooh. Game line. He's got a lot of pressure on him. 47 he picks. Mmm. Mmm. Here we go. And finally... Oh boy, this is a roll off of death. Three people. There can only be one winner. There can be only one. Here we go, we're waiting. Pass. That can have it. 
Okay, he's going to pass. Okay, here we go. So we're going to roll off. And... Whoa! 77! 77, Tim Root. Looks like you, my good friend, are going to win. Game line, you were so close. So close. So close. But Tim, victorious. Once again. Congratulations. Game line, so close. So close. Send me an email at novaprime860 at hotmail.com. All right, Larissa, let's keep it moving. Let's keep going. Let's just keep on doing what we do. So, when you're ready, congratulations. Oh, way to go, Tim. Uh, uh, Kabuki, uh, you know, just laying it out there. Fantastic. That a girl. Tim Root, who just had a... a one of his kids graduate, which is one of the reason. Insert evil laughter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Yay. Evan gets even more presents than that he does, so make sure that you check uh, next week in your mailbox as our great friends from... Yeah, you got it. Miniature market. Take care of things like they always do. So, Larissa, whenever you're ready, let's go uh, number three. Because we're giving away four. <laughs> My boys at uh, Chip Theory Games, they're happy that they uh, did what they did. Got to love them. Got to love them. All right. All right, so Dan Verzen just sent me a nice uh, thing. Oh, look at you guys flying already. There's some pro stuff going on here. Casey Huff changing his number. You know who I'm curious? Uh, will, will Kabuki keep her number? Give him enough, enough time. But we got a lot of things going on here. Channel has been fun. I tell you. What else am I painting? We got Batman. We got Hate. We got w dragons. We got oh my goodness. We got mythic battles that we're in the middle of painting. And then we got new stuff that we got to paint. Charlie P's here. What's up, Charlie? Ron Woods here. Eminem's here. Saeed got his number on time. Mo Monkey Raft doing his thing. Last call. See, nice. That's a nice call, Larissa. See, Larissa's so smart. I never would have thought of that stuff. I'm just not that. She said, stop now. Stop now it is. All right, number three. Here we go. Here we go. Giving away gift certificates to the greatest place on earth. The greatest place on earth, Miniature Market. My sponsor and my friends. So I'm, I'm rolling like like a complete moron because we have no idea what's going on. So uh, remember, this is the tens. This is the ones. Here we go. And uh, let's see what happens. Let's make a little magic happen together. Let's go. Here we go. Still have All Quiet on the Martian front to paint. Oh, my God. Oh, oh I'm shaking those dice, wondering. Wondering who's the next winner going to be? I, there's only one way to find out and let the dice go. 23. Okay, this could be interesting. Because if Kabuki stays true to who Kabuki was, I did not see. We might have another roll off of death. 23. Ron Woods in there with a, a 26. Oh, this just gets interesting and more interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I, what? Did Kabuki not get in? Well, let me take a look here. Let me just double check everything. Because I'll be shocked. Kabuki did not get in. 
Unbelievable. Just don't roll 91. Okay, so it looks like I missed getting in. Oh my God. And that other person rolled to Laura, my 22. Oh, did Laura get 22? Because I was looking, I was looking for Kabuki. It would have been a roll off. Laura, with 20, Laura, see, you stuck with your number. You stuck with your number. We would have had a roll off the death. Okay, so just for fun, just for fun. Now, let, we're going to let you pick the number first, Laura. I, this is just for fun. You won, but I want to see because you, I, I think Kabuki would have picked 22. So, Laura, pick another number. And then Kabuki pick another number. I want to see what would happen. Because we would have had that roll off to death. I just want to see how bad it was. See what those emotional attachments will get you at Kabuki Kid. Wow. Wow. All right, let's see what happens here. She missed getting in. Unbelievable. It would have been 22 versus 22. So, Lord, just just pick any number. My curiosity has to, is getting the best of me. Laura, make sure you email me at novaprime860 at hotmail.com, please. And uh, so I have your email, so I can send it back to you and just say that you won game three. And the other people that won, just say you won game one, you won game two. Um, let's say 63. Okay, Kabuki, what would it be? Kabuki. Here we go. She would have picked... See, now, now that puts Kabuki in a weird spot. Does she go 62? And take the rest of the field? That's an interesting, that's an interesting thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could pick something like 50 or I can just take 62 and have a wider range. Yeah, she, now she's playing the odds. Let's see what she does. Let's see what Kabuki does because now this is interesting to me. She'll take 60. She went higher. Oh, she went higher. Let's see what would have happened if this had happened. This is amazing. Because now she gave the mathematical advantage to Laura S. But Kabuki saying, no, Rob, you've been rolling low. I think you'll roll high. Oh, Kabuki, Kabuki, Kabuki. It was 90. Kabuki would have would have would have laid it on the line and won. See? She would have gone with her gut and she said, Rob, you're gonna roll high. And she would have won. And Laura would have been left with nothing but her pride. But, but as fate has it, Laura has won to this day. Fantastic. And so funny. But, hey, we had to see. Because we want to know. We have to know. I have to know. So, without further ado, my dear and close and wonderful Larissa, do me a favor. Light it up and get this one going again. So the minute you see it, he likes to tease me. I'm not, I'm not teasing you. I was curious. I was curious. I was curious. I was excited that you were in the mix. Because I always want you to win. As a matter of fact, I want you all to win. All right, that's why I hold some, so many of these. So we can try to give you guys something to help you out a little bit. You know, it's coming into convention season. There's all kinds of new games coming out. And who better than moi to give you some money to make sure that you can shop during that time so it doesn't hit your pocketbook that hard. That's the kind of guy I am. And you want to know something? We're going to do another one before Gen Con. I promise you. So you guys have those gift certificates that you can use where? Miniature Market. And be able to pick up some of those new titles that are going to drop. They're going to drop July 31st. All right, give it, give it a bit here, uh, Larissa. I'll just talk us through it because that's what I do. Again, you know, so we're, we've got plenty of giveaways. We're going to go pick out some games at Gen Con. I'm going to bring, I'm going to send them back and I'm going to give them away. 
I'm going to give them away. I'm going to try to get some hot games that I can give away to you guys because that's what I do. That's how we roll here. That's how things work. When you sit at the big boy table. Uh, it's not about me. Well, a little bit. But, you know. Remember to hit the like button, and but most of all, and most of all, make sure you get your number in before Larissa cuts you off. Because when Larissa cuts you off, uh, trust me, last call. So she's going to give you a few more seconds there. Let's see if we can get you in. I'm excited. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. We're going to go down to the table. We're going to go down to the table and get ready. Oh, Dennis got his in. On the last call. <laughs> last call. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Joe in Arizona got his in. Way to go, Joe. All right, she stopped. So we're going to get going here. Going once. <laughs> All right, here we go. Who is the winner? Who is the champion? Who will get... Will this be the biggest certificate? Will this have some extra zeros in it? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. Win it and see. Ugh. 45. 45. 45. Remember, Nova Prime 860 at Hotmail.com. That is where you will get a hold of the face that runs the place. Now, who won this? Who won this? I'm, I'm curious now. See, I'm going to start looking. 49. Aqua Lare. Okay. 46. Ron Wood. He's got that beat. 45. James Hanna. Oh, I'm, I'm going to let you guys figure it out. Oh, and James gives out a huge yell of and relief. 45 is the number. He hit it. It's like he read my mind. Finally, James is on the board. I know James has lost a couple of these. James, uh, congratulations. Uh, would you like to say anything? And he does. He lets out a big, yeah. Oh, man. It is James Hanna. On the nose, on the money. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, folks. That's how you do it here. You don't. You don't, you don't leave it in my hands. You don't leave it to the hand of fate. You pick that number. You hit that number. It's like that dog. you got a responsibility. You go out. you got a dog. You're supposed to take care of that dog. You go find that blankety-blank dog. Go ahead, Kabuki. Tell me where it's from. You know. Well, you passed the... You passed in the garden. Any minute now, here it comes. They will pay for the postage to Scotland. Exactly. See, this, depending on what you want, you know, you may, might be able to gain, get a game, a couple games and pay for the postage and get some things at great deals. Look at that. That's fantastic. What can I say? What can I say? We've done it again. We did it all. We said it all. We had fun. How long did I go? An hour and 15, just as I thought. Billy Madison, there we go. Oh, did somebody beat Kabuki at that too? Oh, come on. This is not her day. Wow. Wow. All right, well, anyways, we had a blast. It's a lot of fun. You got a lot of reviews. You got a lot of painting videos coming up. A reference, a reference I don't know, Rob. It was Billy Madison. 
Oh my god, Kabuki, this is just not your day today. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. And I always try to get you, and you always put me in my place. And then you tell me I said it wrong. Ugh. Oh. That's all right. Tomorrow is a better day, Kabuki. And just be thankful for each and every one that you had. Thanks, Rob. Happy gaming, everyone. Okay, listen. We did it all. We said it all. We had a lot of fun. I think we covered a lot of stuff. We've got a lot of things coming up. So many things. We've got We've got the fantasy the fantasy trip I almost forgot the name of it that we're going to be doing live when I come back we've got so many wonderful games that we're going to be doing and playing together and learning together and we're just going to have fun and that's the most important thing I want to thank everybody here I want to thank Miniature Market for all their help and don't forget that you guys are going to be getting some great gift certificates those of you that won tell me which part that you won and of course of course of course Make sure you email me at noprime860 at hotmail.com. Or even if you just want to say hi, email me at noprime860 at hotmail.com. You never know. Uh, TT for life. He, he won uh, He won the Hellboy game. And we've been giving a lot of stuff away. That's what we do. It's awesome here. It's fun here. It's fun to give. That's for sure. All right. So, um... Like I said, we'll see how things go. A lot of great videos coming up. Just uh, stick with us. Thanks so much for being a part of this. Make sure you subscribe if you never subscribed. And make sure always that you try to check as many of our videos as you can. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate everything that you guys do for me. And as always, tomorrows are never guaranteed. So we'll just appreciate today. Really. Really just take care of yourselves. Appreciate all the good things that you have in life even though sometimes it gets a little hard and as i always say each and every week to the world you may be one person but to one person all of you may be the world and to me you are the world and you mean the world to me thank you so much for making this so special to do every time i get to do it and i get to do it every day and it's a blessing thank you I love you all, and we will see you over the weekend with some live gaming. Now, tell the UPS guy to get here and deliver everything. Until next time, it is your old pal, Robin. Don't forget to thank Larissa before you leave for doing such a fantastic job, like she always does. I mean, what do you expect? It gets old. She's so good, it gets old. But we were glad to have her here, and I hope she's feeling better. Those headaches have been really giving her a tough time, but we love her all the same. Until next time. We'll see you soon.